absolutely shocked at what I've seen today. Now, all of you understand this, but I'm not too sure I understood it until I got here today. You truly are the best of the best. Seeing the differences in students from the time they come to that kickoff event in September and they have this wide-eyed deer-in-the-headlight kind of look of what have we gotten ourselves into. These are your primary game pieces and these are the things that you are going to gather to make the, the fuels. When you see your rules you're gonna see four chemical equations. And this game is based on those four chemical equations. Then you see them six weeks later, and they don't look the same. And they have their game faces so. on. This year's game, folks, is about developing new and innovative fuels. You are going to build the compounds to create new and innovative fuels. But you must read the rules. It's an intricate game. It requires a lot of strategy. A lot of thought needs to go into this. One minute left. It's, it's kind of funny to watch when the game's un, when the field's unveiled every year, how the kids respond and, and their eyes get big and they lean forward and they really do like the challenge. That first year we came in 27 out of 28. And then when the following year came, the kids and I, we spent time looking at engineering practices. You know, how do you problem solve in engineering? And Homeland Middle School, with all that work, we came from being second to last in the first year to number one. But picture that same developmental process, growth and engagement with the students happening all over the state and now happening in 16 different states. Uh, and to think that it's happening in the same way, with the same kinds of people, with the same kinds of students, at 41 sites around the country. There were 17 when we started. This year there'll be 41. Uh, the program's getting huge. Uh, our program's up to about 160 kids, grades 9 through 12. But this year we have 130 kids between the two middle schools. We currently have 57 students that have signed up. 17 of those students are going to be on the build team. And the rest of the students are working as part of the oral presentation. They are doing the arts, they're doing the booth, they're doing the research. And that, that's a cornerstone in our curriculum is that they, they write and speak all the time. So this is perfect. They have to keep the notebook, they have to document what they do, and then they have to turn around and give a presentation. Um, to, to people that are engineers, people they don't know, it's, it's somewhat intimidating for some of them the first time, but we find the same kids coming back wanting to do the presentation every year because they enjoy the experience. This year we decided to use Dreamweaver and fireworks applications. As far as our demographics go, here is a percentage by grade. You'll notice a fairly even split in the pie there. It's made me as a person, but also I think the team as a whole, a safer team as far as the construction of it. It also has made us smarter and ready more for the job field. But we would also like you to know that we are the, the best, best of best. We have established a group of people that are fiercely committed to the program. The quality of the people that judge have really progressed the quality of the program. The input they give those students is what pushes the students to do better. But, it, but it's true of the educational displays of the oral mm -hmm. presentations. Right. It's not just the robotics part, it's every aspect of the program. This stuff in large quantities has been known to destroy small towns. In even larger quantities, entire cities gone in the blink of an eye because of dihydrogen monoxide. What is dihydrogen monoxide, you ask? It's water. These kids could literally teach the class using CAD design software it's because of what they learned in BEST. 
they're developing tools that industry needs that, that are going to serve them the rest of their lives. They just think they're having fun. We are just starting to see the uh, children that have gone through the BEST program. Typically those students are coming in with uh, a broader foundation of what it takes to work as teams. They're familiar with engineering standards and documentation. Um, this program really offers them uh, an opportunity to engage in things that are going to be very practical, hopefully for their first job that they get uh, as new engineers in, in our workforce. Industry has always been on the receiving end. They've never been able to be on the front end of affecting change at the middle school level and the high school level. Now they see this as this is a tool for us to craft our future workforce. Wait till the end. Activities and programs such as BEST that teach the students to work together, to try out the robot, see what works, take it back to the pit, problem solve, work on it, make it work. There is truly a pit just like NASCAR, and repairs and modifications and retrofits are made on the spot. The kids get to interact with some integrated circuitry. The uh, implementation of the brain allows them to get their hands on some cutting edge technology. The students were able to problem solve, which they don't, they don't get near enough problem solving. They called it an exercise in critical thinking. To take a big problem and break it down into little problems and then you solve each of the little problems and you've now solved the big problem. The best thing about game day is seeing how excited people are and cheering for technology. I just think the event's exciting. The first year that I walked in here, it was, it was unbelievable to see cheerleaders, to see bands, to see the, the, just the atmosphere and excitement around robotics. The crowd, there's 3,000 people yelling and it, it reminded me of a good basketball game. Outside of sports, where else do you see that? You ever see anybody do that as a result of a chemistry test? We want the winner here to be just as appreciated as the person who wins that touchdown to win the last championship game in your school. This is as important, and in a lot of cases, much more important. So to all the band members, all of the other parents, to all of the friends who came to support it, thank you. Teamwork is essential. Leadership. Problem solving. Critical thinking. The BEST program allows them to truly learn about math and science and the engineering process. The thing that gets me is the complete dead silence of 4,000 people right before you announce who it is. From the War Eagle BEST Hub, team number 25, we talk about It's fun. It is just the most fun I've had in years. It teaches them so much, but they have so much fun doing it. It all starts with these kids beginning to just ignite a fire and a passion. And it's just amazing to see that kind of pride. And that's why those of us who spend the hours that we spend continue to do it. And there is no better way to get students excited about math, science, and engineering than exposing them to the best process. And robot has become an addiction. We love it. 
these kids will have a different level of critical thinking when they come out. They're getting a crash course in it. And just seeing how excited they were and seeing their motivation and their dedication showed me what the future of America holds. If students will work like this for a robot, what will they do to help us achieve our goals in science and technology as a nation? It's just a fantastic program.